that? The neighbors actually are fans. They're saying we're number one. And don't worry, we're fans as well. Next week, we're hiring somebody to come in and turn it around and face it towards them so they get the same message. All right, well, tell me what the can of worms is. How about I just tell you what the can of worms is? Otter Creek worms, my goodness. They are, mm, they're the best. You see, here in the state of Florida, you could be held liable for selling a piece of property without disclosing. Let me make sure I get this legally correct. Item defects that are not readily observable and materially affect the value of the property. Now, this is even when you sell property as is. So that means, encroachments. Not only is the potential seller liable, my neighbor, but also this implicates all of the family members that sold as well. And that includes Cecilia. That includes Teresa. Richard. That includes, oh yeah, I got it all here. Deborah. That includes, oh, Tina. That also includes Alfreda. Now, Tina, you've already told me you're the black sheep of the family. I got a feeling the family isn't going to be too happy if you drag them into this. And if you want to claim ignorance, better remember this. So she knows that she's encroaching all over the property already. Yes, she does. Okay. Because we told her, we were like, Susie, come on, we're trying to sell the property. You know, and it's like once we said that, I mean, she got more. Now, Susie, okay, you know where the Tower Road is? Yes. Okay, that's yours. Yeah. Okay. I've tried. I just, I just, I'll take care of it. Okay, I've tried to get it to It'll be for done. you, but it, it just It'll be happening. done. She's sick. She's in the hospital right now. Yes. So they just cussed me out. I told I them to get all their garbage off. I don't know who they are. I'll figure it out. That's not her family. I'll figure it out. Okay. But we tried really hard. We got some out now. <laughs> we did, but mm. I'll take care of it. I've already and told I, her. I it's... don't know how far it goes back for junk. I'll figure it out. It's going to okay. be surveyed. It's going to be fenced. Do you see that back fence? Yep. Okay. All the way to her ass. I'll take care of it. Reality is, is I've spent a tremendous time of money fixing the previous owner's problems, and I could have sued legally for those issues, but I haven't. I wanted to be a good neighbor. I wanted to do everything I could to make sure that relations were okay. That's yours. If you go down there, my dad, a long time ago, about 30 something years ago, he put um, metal spikes in the ground. Over, get, over there? Yes, they're everywhere on your property. My dad has metal spikes. You think you can show I'm me just, sometime? My husband can. Okay. Actually, mm -hmm. that, that would be helpful. So I'm gonna have it surveyed. And, um, and I already, I went there this morning and I told them, I said, garbage gets out immediately. If it's not, if I'll lean, I'll, I'll yeah. take care of the garbage if I lean and I'll seize well, the property. The town's on your, on your side <laughs> um, because I've complained. Yep. Um, I raised my grandson, yep. so the bus comes every day to my house. I also told them if they block that road again, I'm going to tow it out myself. And so they know. So, I'm so happy so you just, moved in. <laughs> so just so you know, um, just so you know, I, I'm no nonsense. I'm a businessman and I do a lot of business, and I'm not gonna put up with garbage on the road. Yeah. I will do everything to clean the road up. Yeah. Uh, there will be cameras all over the property. Yeah, there, there is, there's <laughs> camera on me. I am always have a camera on. And is, is there anything else that you want? I mean, there's a lot of stuff back there. I had all my family come, and I'm like, please get your stuff out of here. And there's still stuff down. Um, there is a table saw. Okay, we don't have anything to lift it. Okay. That's why it's still there. We did, you know, we wanted we wanted to bring it down here. But, but you do have, want it. Well, we don't know how to lift it. It's heavy. I'll it's pick like it a, up. It's like fifty years old. Yep, I'll pick it up. I'll just throw it in the back of the truck. Yeah. You'll just have to tell me where to put it. But everywhere, everything else down there, I don't think anybody wanted it. I've literally done everything I can for these people. I gave them everything back that they requested. I went to them and asked them, is there anything you want of all these abandoned items on this abandoned ranch? And then I even paid a person to take those things up to them, even though they had five plus years to remove it. I guess that just wasn't enough. I did what? You stole it from my really? Just so we're clear, when you take something that you didn't pay for, that's theft. 
or when you don't give something that was paid for. That's theft. And I guess it just wasn't enough that I paid $250,000 for the property. They wanted the money and the land. I work a full-time job and bust my ass around here trying to keep up on shit. And it's never ending because I got to... How's that my fault? I'll tell you what. I'll trade your schedules. I work every waking moment of my day. No day off. Try being self-employed, multiple businesses, multiple states, multiple employees, and then vlog your entire life at the same time. There is no such thing as time off. And part of the work that I have to do is a job that you should have done already. Oh. I moved up here to get away from people. Brian, like how's that my fault? You can move again. There's gonna be hundreds. Not only hundreds, thousands. <laughs> Not only thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are gonna be here. You have no idea what's coming in the near future, but I can tell you, you got more YouTubers moving in across the street. That's probably wise. It's way too late for that. Yeah. Okay. So in a nutshell, uh, what happened is I bought this property from them, 70 acres. Uh -huh. They still own an acre right there. The house? Part? Yes, they own, they own the, an acre right there. That's the house. Okay. And uh, they refused a survey when I purchased the property. So I purchased the survey. So I spent $5,800 in the survey. Okay. The pin is over here, probably, I don't know, eight plus feet, maybe less, maybe more. I went to talk to, to Brian this weekend about the issue of encroachment. Mm -hmm. And immediately, uh, he got volatile. Tina came out, and then Tina... Tina's his wife. Tina is the wife. Tina came out, sent him inside, and uh, we discussed we discussed the issue. And then out of due diligence and wanting to do everything as best as I possibly could, I made... I, I said, hey, I will have McMillan come out and triple check this. Okay. Because they were being... being um, extremely rude about the entire issue uh -huh. so I came back up to talk to Brian Brian made Brian made verbal threats upon me and the property and that is the stake right there and then Brian went on to if you want to come over here that's the, that's that's my property line so From everything here back this way? everything towards you oh this way everything towards you're leaning on my property right now how far does it go that way then? So it goes all the way up to the road. This is the area they're encroaching on on this area. I went to them respectfully. Uh, I said, hey, I paid for the survey. We got an encroachment issue. And then the, the threats were made as far as against me and against my personal property. Mm -hmm. And then this was done as well. This is all on my property. This is... This Where's is, the, the property marker up here? It's right up there. So it goes from there to up here. So all this from where that marker is in the pen straight up it's is gonna actually go, your property kind of goes right where the it's, boat thing it's is? It's going to go on the side of the boat straight up. This is my property. Sheriff had to be called. I need documentation, legal documentation of everything that has happened and is continuing to happen for future court. Are they home or do you know? I don't know. Is that the survey marker right there? Uh, survey marker is going to be right over here, yes, sir. Yep. Yep, $5,800 for a survey. So it's already verified, it's already submitted. You have survey with you? Yes. Yes, I do. It's on my phone. Can you, uh. But if you're not a surveyor, you, you're not going to be able to read the. Yeah, no, can you. Attitude. Well, just I want something documentation. You got, yeah. Can you email that to me? Yeah, I can give you the entire email. Or I can give you the entire survey. Yep. Does he, does, he, does he put in his survey that your uh, property is, is that want, way actually? Do you want to see the video of him telling me that they're encroaching? Yeah, I'm, whatever okay. proof you have okay, that, here's that, that property is yours. I'm going to show you the video of, of him telling me that he's encroaching, okay? Of the him, surveyor. Him t McMillan of telling this him? McMillan surveyor telling me that he's encroaching. Okay. Now you're liable for destruction of property as well. What you're about to see is okay. right back there. That's what we just looked at. The pin is what? Inside the fence. Six, seven feet in from the fence, huh? And it's another pipe, I believe. That's Russell oh, with see McMillan. It right down there on the ground. You guys okay. put the surveyor's tape over it. Okay. Try to do that. You're listening. That's Russell right there. Fence. 
Russell, that works for McMillan? Yes, sir. Huh. Very, very interesting. Extremely They're showing me all the encroaching. Now, if you go, oh, I don't believe it. This Somebody is us going to right there, every fellas. single point. This is that McMillan. Like this is us so going to every single point. This this is McMillan. Is that is that him, the surveyor? Yeah, surveyor, right there. Okay. We went to every single point. You're, that's what you just watched. You watched that one right there, the encroaching. He's that's showing it on the map. That's the angle. The map is the, so the pin. And then he's showing the encroaching. The that is the survey is that you just and saw. And when uh, the survey. Six, McMillan seven, fellow talked to them? The no. Has Mc, anybody talked to them? I did. What that's, did he say? That's when he got volatile. But did he? What do you say about you saying now that this is his property? This is your property because of the survey. What, what this is where physical. This is where threats started. You got a video of that? Yes, I do. All right. So I, I want to be very clear. I never anticipated that they would be an issue at all. They've been great neighbors until this point. Okay. And then when I said I got the survey done and we have an issue, and then he blew up, and then she came out. She started talking about well, I've already talked to this and I've talked to that never talked to me they already knew they were encroaching they already knew it was an issue never talked to me about it and then he blew up again i came back to say listen this is silly i'll have mcmillan come out triple check i already had him come out twice and check mm -hmm. and then he blew up and then she unbeknownst to me i didn't know she was filming she came up and started filming and i'm going to show you the clip it is It is. So this is. This what, is. What day was this? When was this? This was Saturday, and I waited to consult with a lawyer this morning. So this is him telling me off. He just made physical threats. You got it coming. I'm gonna get you. You and the property. He's saying I'm stole the property. That's Brian Haley. That's, that's the guy who lives that's here? That's the guy who lives there who I want a no trespassing yeah, order on. Get these cameras out of here. This shit's got to stop. It ain't going to stop. It's not going to stop at all. If anything, there's going to be more. Because I'm not. You cannot tell her to turn a camera off. You have no legal right to turn, tell her to turn a camera off. No more than you have a legal right to now have She came and started filming to protect me against right. him. And if I get a YouTube video, what about it? This is the first time you've been recorded, but I didn't even ask her to do it. Tell me what I did. I came to you politely, and I'm coming to you politely. And I'm telling you, I will have the survey company come out again. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna cop an attitude over what? You sold okay. property, Brian. Okay, so done. So I'm telling you, down. I will have McMillan come out a third time. Right. You can talk to them. You can so he's on my property right now. Why well, be, you just told him this day, him. right, that he's the they, property issue. They already knew. They already saw the survey point. So that's where he blew up. And yeah, I came to talk to him and said, hey, can we resolve this? Right. And they start blowing up. Tell me one thing I started. Where's your work at, do you know? It's some kind of sign company. How's that my fault? Up here to get away from people. Brian, how's that my fault? I'm offering to have the survey company come again. I'm not going back to Ohio. I'm offering to have the surveyor company come out again and talk to you. So what he's what he's doing is right now. Is that where he's he's taken Yes, and that's the my gate. property. The gate down? Yes, and that is my property. That is my legal property. She can do whatever she wants. So if I wanted to well, right when, there, I could when, have when, them was off. The, when was that gate put up, though? Well, it, I it, was, it doesn't matter. Dude, you're on well, when did property, you buy the property? I, the, it was all solidified January 2021. And how did, how did you buy the property right, well, without a... They refused a survey. That's probably wise. Now, do you want me to schedule so you can talk to McMillan? What did I push? All right, so I'm offering one more time. Would you like to talk to the survey company? 
Oh my goodness. So multiple times you're gonna hear threats to me and the property. They knowingly sold the property with encroachment issues. They sold, there's encroachment issues over there that I've already clarified and fixed with the other uh, landowners. Let me ask you a question, just so yes, I'm clear sir. on it. When did you buy the property in January 21? What, what, what did you buy? I bought 70 plus acres here. All this year? Yes. Is all your, all your property? Yes. There's 70 plus acres. And that's when it went acres. final and then this, they and wouldn't then, and then do then a, I hired, a survey? They refused a the survey. You know why they refused a the survey. I have no idea. Because they knew they were encroaching and they knew the neighbors on the other side were encroaching. Well, anytime so you I buy didn't... a piece of property, you should have a survey done. Exactly. Common <laughs> sense. But as you know already, Levy how County, long, how common long have... sense isn't that common. Let me ask you a question. How long have they been here? Uh, that Do they I don't rent know. or they own? They, that either, I don't know either. I don't know their personal business. I do know that Tina was one of the six kids that sold the property. It was in an estate, the parents' estate, sold the property. The they legal sold this points, property to you? Yes, sir. The family sold it to you? Yes, sir. And okay. the legal points, you just saw the legal points. Mm -hmm. That is the legal parcel. Okay. All I right. can't have them on my property. Hey, I'm with you. I understand. I'll pursue everything else. In civil court, I just need the. So this is your full-time residence. This is. It is. Are you, are you asking Homestead? This is this is my full-time residence. Yes. In Ohio. Yes. Okay. I've been here for five months now. I haven't made this yet my full-time residence, but this will become my full-time okay. residence. I also have a fencing company coming tonight to give me a quote on this at 5 p.m. I don't want any issues with my fencing company. If either. you have an issue, just, just call us back and we'll send it up. Yeah. Tina, Brian, Haley. Yes, sir. What is that address? Yeah. That is, that is, I believe. It says 4-0 on the. It's, it's something. It's a zero something. Might be 70 or 60 or 40. I don't know. I tell you, they're PO, I get it off property prices. Their P.O. box is 127 in Otter Creek. So this piece of property once was her parents. Right. And then dad sold it to her. And so now that's where you've got all this. They're like, well, this, 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 and this. No, you sold a piece of property. You sold a legal piece of property. And now you're threatening me, my life, my family, my property. And the childishness that you're seeing there. Do uh, you have the name for the surveyor? Yes, McMillan. Steve you know, McMillan. Steve? Steve McMillan. Do you have a number? Um, I can get you one really, and really quick. can you send me the survey? Yes, I can do that too. How about I just send you the survey and it has his That'd number in it? That'd be fine. That'd be fine. And then you can contact him directly. And we will go for the property the sale of the property was final on january what i don't remember the exact date but it was january but you bought this property from this family yes two hundred fifty thousand dollars cash okay it is a done deal okay here's the survey mcmillan i'm gonna forward this to you you mind just double checking that that's it. Okay. Ordering that to you right now. That is the survey that also has Steve McMillan's number that you can contact him. Does it have the date on the survey that when he done it and all that? I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. It's a legal survey. And the uh, the date that the deed was recorded and all that with a... That'll be with, on the auditor site. I don't know what it is right now. I mean, it, I, But I, it was January. Yes, January it was January. January. I'm the legal owner. You're going to see the owner is Hang Your Hat Homes. I am Hang Your Hat Homes. It's a sole proprietorship. That's me. All right, it's, you don't know their work schedule? I don't know their work schedule. They were completely and totally, the crazy thing is, is I had major issues with my other neighbors. My other neighbors are now, I corrected all those issues with them. They're the good neighbors now. And my good neighbors just on Saturday went and flipped totally and went the bad neighbors. Okay. I, I, I don't even get it. I don't understand it. It's childish, it's immature. Who, I don't get it. Uh, you say your fence guy's coming back tonight? Tonight, 5 p.m. If you have an issue with him, uh, call and get a deputy. It won't be me. I'll, I'm going to leave it at 3 o'clock. But the information of this call will be entered so the deputy will know what's going on. Sure. So he'll understand you know, what's going on with this issue. 
Uh, so it may take a day or so, but I'll get back with you. I'll give you a call sometime tomorrow morning, probably prior to lunch, and kind of let you know where we're going. I want to make it very, very clear. I do not want them crossing on the property line. Anything that's on the property line, they're not to touch. It's legally owned by me. That is the law. That is, those are the bearings. Those are the points. Uh, he's already done foolish things, such as mm -hmm. the flicking off of the hand. If he would have hurt himself with the chainsaw, I would have been liable for that. I have a crew coming in next week to rip everything out, and then I have the fence crew coming in in two weeks to put the new fence in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Is that it? That's it. All right. I'll Thank get you, back sir. with you. All right. Appreciate it. Uh-huh. Encroaching isn't the only can of worms you have opened up on you now. Now you got building code. My buddy Keith from Four Season Fence. Where are you out of? You're out of? Bronson. Bronson, Florida. Keith, I got something to show you. I remember when we were on the other side of the property. Right. You said you had never seen anything like that never. before, right? I got something else to show you today. Keith's coming out in two weeks to set up the fence on the other side of the property. Now, Keith, this is the property line after the survey. Mm -hmm. So the fence is fine here, except the fence goes straight the property line goes at a pie-shaped angle. So we're gonna have to measure that out. You got your wheel, right? Yeah. You all set with your wheel. We're gonna have to measure that out and then we're gonna come across something that I don't think you've ever seen before. Let's go come across it. All right, let's, let's figure it all out. <laughs> so guy next week, he's gonna take all this out and then you can put in the fence at the same time. That way you only do one thing and then it goes at an angle. We're, we're getting close, you see it? I see that. Tree. You see it? I don't know what the hell he's doing with that tree. Do you see it? So, so check this out. Why is he cutting that up? That used to be a gate. Yeah, that used to be a gate. Uh, not only that, this used to be a gate on my property. So now he's liable for destruction of property. So, not only has he made physical threats towards me, my property, and others on my property, which he's liable as for as well, now he's liable for destruction of property, and I'm sure there's going to be a bunch more things. Uh, it's just, it, it's insanity to me. How much hell am I going to catch when I can run this fence? Uh, you're not going to catch any. It's going to be yanked out, pulled out, you're going to run the next fence, and I'll be there, I'll be there. I can have anybody else here you need here too. I, don't, I, I, gotta go. I know you do. <laughs> and you know I do. And uh, there'll be about five others here, too. So have you ever... Come on, Keith. Have seen somebody ever, mutilate a pole like that? I don't even know why he was doing it. Okay. Was he going to cut some kind of a bear out of it or something? You know, or? here's the craziest part. If he's on my property, right? He's doing this. Destruction of my property on my property. Kind of looks hey. like a fish shooting your bird, don't it? It kind of kind of looks that way. So he's on my property, destruction of my property. If he would have taken that chainsaw, and let's say he would have cut his leg off because he was so upset and so mad, who's liable for that? You would have been. I would have been because he's on my property, that's destroying right. my property, and that's the insanity of all this. By the way, that stays. I do not want that removed from the property. <laughs> okay. That stays inside the fence line. As a matter of fact, it's gonna be turned towards the other direction. You'll be it. Yep. You can round it all we're, a little we're bit. We're going to finish it. It's going that direction. <laughs> you know how hard it's going to be to turn it? Um, I got a guy coming to do it next week. Wow. You want to know what the crazy part is? The guy that's coming to do it? can do next week I can take the tree down and we can get that out of the way. 205 feet. Yeah about the same as the other. So next week we'll get all we'll get all the work done and then mark it hey, right we'll there. We'll be here around 12. Yeah so you do it all at the same time. So I'll have everything prepped and then you're gonna go straight up on that angle we'll figure out we'll figure out where their fence starts and where it ends. Yeah. Straight line, straight line on yeah. an angle. I guess an option is I could charge them rent. That way they're in a legally binding contract and that way they're covered under my insurance to actually be on my property. But I got a feeling they're not gonna pay. Done deal. That's what I'll do. Done deal. You know, this place right here is just no good. 
Well, I'll pull all, all of this is getting pulled out. Yeah, anyway. I was going to say, it's, yeah. it's of no use. Everything is getting pulled out. All the old fencing. I don't know where the hell they got all these telephone poles at. I don't know. That's this what is. they are. Yeah, it'll all, all get pulled out with the tractor. This has to go too. This yep. ain't yours. At oh, all. It is now. It'll all get pulled out. It's all on your property. Yep. It belongs to you. Yep. Whether they put it up or not. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, it don't. Owner of the property. The pen that they had for hogs, apparently. Yeah, they had hog pen back here. Oh. I know I understand why people cut shit like that. He had to be fingering, fingering somebody. You think it was me? You think it was me? He's a good boss, good dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I understand why you laid the pole out there. That just don't make no sense. Yeah, part of. You know what? Part of that is gonna it's gonna be on their property, so I'll have to have them pull a string and then just cut the branches off. So he might have to just come over here and go chop, and then we'll haul that. And you won't know until you pop the string. Yeah, we'll pop that string and then we'll pull six inches off. Yeah. Four inches is gonna barely. Left me a hammer and screwdriver. What's that, buddy? That power line's gonna barely miss that pole, and the big, big trees down there are gonna have to go. So, yeah, all that's gotta go. Yep. It's all coming out next week. That's big tree. Them are hard to get to grow down here. Yeah. Apparently, it's growing. Well, it ain't gonna take me very much longer. No. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm are you gonna Are you gonna attempt to fix this fence back when you tear it down? Uh, so what what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have it all ripped out and then It's just gonna be removed right now. They got it. You're not liable to put it back up. I'm not liable to do anything right now They got a no trespassing order. So I came and talked to them and uh, I went very very uh, Politely to them and said hey surveys done. They knew all about this beforehand mm -hmm. So her her response to me was her response to me was, I already talked to these people in the courts, and I talked to this, and they said, I all I had to do was gift you the property. And I'm like, gift me the property? It is my property. You're not gifting me anything on that side of the fence. It already is my property. Wow. I can't have you doing things like this over here. I'm liable for it. So they already knew all about it, never came and talked to me. I came and talked to them. He got he got all hostile. She started saying Imagine weird that. stuff. And then he Nobody got even can more take hostile. Bad words, man. I mean... It, common respect is you know you have an encroachment issue you go talk to your neighbor you say hey we know we got an issue let's fix it but there was no respect whatsoever imagine that because they've had it so damn long they think they own it that's what it you amounts to how long to. that fence has been there that's what it amounts to that fence has been there 20 years probably probably longer probably as rusty as it is uh i, I don't know about you but if I've ever worked for anybody and my employer gives me a paycheck, and if it's not all there, I have a little bit of an issue with that, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I would yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know anybody that goes to an employer and goes, uh, I'm sorry, but... I don't know if anybody <laughs> buys land and gives half of it away. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and, and so anybody who goes, oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, it's not a really big issue. You should just give them the land. First and foremost, number one, they sold it. And I don't know any of you out there in the YouTube world who would ever give part of your paycheck back to your employer if they didn't give you what they owed you in whole. They refused the survey when I made the offer for the property because they knew they had major issues, major, major issues over there. And now they know I they have they, an they, issue here. I see they fixed that issue over there. Some want. They still got some cleaning. And here's the crazy part. I'm fighting one battle that they should have done beforehand, before the property even before went up for sold. sale. Before the property even went up for sale. That battle should have been fought by mm -hmm. them and not me. And now, because they know they are an issue, now I have another battle that I have to fight. This is insanity. And well, I'm not and I'm not even gonna fight it anymore. You it's, know not, it's not much of a fight. It, well, you know what? I'm just gonna let the courts take care of it. I yeah, because you're in the right. I got threats. So now you got issues there that he's liable for. I got destruction of property, and I think the, the list is probably going to continue to oh, grow. Oh shit, man! I've had threats here recently. I'm telling you, I had to put up a I had to put up a damn uh, surveillance system. Hired the cops to come down to my house for the last couple of weeks or weekends to make extra trips down in my neighborhood to keep these people at bay. I had to buy more weapons and put them in my house. You you want to you want to borrow my stump over there? You want to put that in the, up by the road? You want to borrow I got, this stone? I got one. I'm not going to home cut it into a big bird. <laughs> <laughs>
just got to push a few yeah. more things over there, but the, the old posts are out. Everything's prepped. Everything's ready. Yeah, I'm just going to charge you another grand for uh, this over here. knock it out. Knock it all out. Yeah, and time. still. Yeah, and you like hope for the hell of it. That's just, that's just for the hell of it. I'm keeping that, man. That is staying here on the yeah, property right. for good. But I've seen them on property before because he didn't know exactly where the property line was. Yeah. These people knew damn well where the property oh, line was. Well, they sold doubt. you the property. I know they know where the property line Yeah, was. without a doubt. These people lived here their whole lives and they act like they own it. Anybody thinking the same thing I'm thinking here? Pot calling the kettle black? This right here, this is what happens when common sense isn't common with most people. All of this, absolutely all of this could have and should have been avoided if a proper survey was accepted and done before the sale of the property. But it wasn't because they knew there were encroachment issues. Your can of worms now. You came on my property, you threatened me. It's one thing to threaten me. I get threatened all the time. I don't care, I'm not scared, no big deal. But you threaten people that I love, my friends, my employees, not okay. You got one more chance to respectfully come and apologize. And then I don't want to ever hear another word from you again. And if you don't do what needs to be done, I will.